bit tankier. Someone who can just go in the front lines and just kind of distract away. And Lycan is so good at doing that. But uh, that being said, he is going up against like 5 trillion stuns. Going Lycan up against like a Tiny and a Bane. And with the Viper and the Bane. With this enfeeble early level, that's going to be a little bit tough. Balo is going to start putting the screws to the Lycan, though. He's taking a little bit of damage himself. Phosphorus does have the Burrow Strike. Is going to land it. Level 2 on the Tiny. Avalanche is there. Right clicks following through. Not going to be enough, though, as he will grab First Blood, Salve up, and dodge death from the Disruptor. He does have Thunder Strike. He does have the Kinetic Field, but he's not in range. With the Burrow Strike on him, he might just go down here himself. Phosphorus has the boots. Kinetic Field is not going to be doing it. Oh, it's going to be holding him back just enough. But the boots of Phosphorus, the tree from downtown, he got him! And that is how you play the tiny, guys. You just get in there with your 880 HP, you just start trading hits. You hopefully don't die to play hard 21, and it looks like that's gonna be a clean win for this boss back, and that is a luxury that he can't afford. Armel, double raise, isn't gonna die just yet. Fly solo. Does it have a brain sap? He doesn't have a nightmare. Play hard 21, though, taking a lot of tower shots, and will die to the last one. Losing the Viper, though, that is extremely costly. That is, uh, level one. Maybe gonna be a little bit too late. Burst Strike gonna land after the Avalanche. They have a toss up. And just right clicks now to kill off the Lycan. Uh, Bane is not quite gonna be able to get close enough. We will be able to get close enough to Ollie. Is there another Burst Strike? Yes, there is the Brain Sap. Toss back in. Bane going in for the dunk. And also the Lycan got hit by that. Can they die from They can with another Avalanche. They'll get two. At the cost of Viper, who died somehow in the mid lane while I was watching more important things. Totally not my fault, by the way. Um, this top lane. But getting this tiny success is kind of more important than getting the Viper success. Oh, immediately, the link breaks. March messed up there. We got rooted as well, which doesn't do him any favors. They'll still be able to kill off Chappie. No, with a Savage Roar on two. They can't get him. Okay, he definitely messed up somewhere there. I'm not really sure what happened with that static link, but uh, it was a defective one. Gotta return that to the store. They are going to be in a rough spot with their supports, though. First raise does miss. Shadow Fiend has a million more where that came from, though. Playhard is not going to have battery salt for another one second. He does have stick, and they will take down the Lycan by himself. Are you kidding me, Velo? I'm watching a chase, in the meantime, he's like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and kill people real quick. God damn it. A much more difficult time against this tiny than I thought. Oh, the ghetto blink dagger. There it is from the Sand King. They will have a pretty good chain stun, but not quite enough damage to bust through 1,200 HP worth of dog. Will survive, of course, with that owl. Razor pushing forward. This time he's gonna land the static link, but gets tossed away. Get the hell out of here. He is actually gonna push forward. Eye of the Storm does turn on. And of, of course, like usual, it does nothing. It just kills a stupid range creep. They are gonna push everyone back. Another rotation here from Geek Fam. Not gonna pay them dividends. In fact, he's gonna cost them a Shadow Fiend. Oh no, you leave him alone for like five seconds. That is exactly a bait, Armel. Exactly what happened. <laughs> A Phosphorus Burst Strike available to the high ground. Is he stuck? Oh, uh, Battery Assault? Nope. Can't get him. The Wolf is in play right now, but Lycan, I mean, he can move pretty quickly. That still doesn't mean he can actually contest this time. He gets tossed back into the tower. Hit with the tree branch. Go fetch Lycan. So, first usage of Shapeshift. And didn't do Armel in the cog and in the secondary set of walls. One, two raids so far. Armel gonna get Nightmare, but they have the third raise. They were it was held by Tron. Brain seven to play hard will get him killed off. Fly solo gets glimpsed back. Does have ten stick charges and Tron actually taking tower out. I don't think they can kill off. This. Can they kill off this bear? Dude, this bear is taking a lot of damage here. I think the bear is just dead. No, the Savage Roar again on the two. Oh my god. I'm sorry for underestimating you, Bear Sama. Oh, Nightmare onto the Shadow Fiend. Phosphorus does not have. His ultimate right now, they will get the glimpse back onto Armel, but he ditches the ultimate right before he gets glimpsed back. Will that mean the Shadow Fiend dies? He gets the drum delivered mid-fight. He still has the Sand King to deal with. This Scorpion is persistent. John is going to get burn struck. He's still alive, though, because it was blocked mostly by this, the raindrop. Prosperous is actually going to walk out of here, and March is just actually dying right now. So he's just going to go down. Okay, well, that's pretty much not the plan, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay with that. Armel going to be chased out by the Lycan now does have another shape shift. Armel trying to juke around. Will try to cheese out Ollie right now. Doesn't have the damage though. Was still drained out by the Razor. Was still will get the kill. Burrow Strike now into the Lycan. The Poison Officer doesn't do them any favors, but he's actually not attacking fast at all. So this dog just got fixed. Thank you, Bob Barker. Armel though is gonna just come in and actually, you know, Tron rather, and swoop in and take the two kills with the double raises. So once again, Lycan does a fat lot of nothing, but the Shadow Fiend comes in, once again he is the heavy, and killing off the Viper for the fourth time. 
has a lot of poison attack, which is great for the lane, but really, at this point, he wishes to get more Corrosive Skin. Play hard. Oh, grip. He does have the cogs up for a little bit of protection right now, but I don't think it's going to get him quite enough. Brain sapped out and popped by the finale. Tiny in the meantime being pushed out. But that's fine. Every movement that they make that is a success is kind of uh, drawn up with the fact that the mid lane gets killed off every single time. Trying to go for the liking right now. Epic answer. Here it is. On to Skemberlu. That will be enough damage to get the kill. Play hard is here. Hookshot. Whoa, that was nowhere near. Uh, I mean, usually you run down the lane to get away, not towards the trees, so uh, that was a little bit off. First epicenter used, though, for Phosphorus, and it will be... And the Disruptor is getting caught, part of your plan. Oh, is he blocking? I think he might be blocking. Phosphorus can't actually get close, but I don't think it actually matters either, because he's so screwed. <laughs> Suddenly a million heroes out of the trees. Vela takes down the tower in an even one-for-one -one tower trade. Disruptor gonna fall, and now over in mid lane, perhaps some trouble brewing. Shadow Fiend, if he does get Burrow Struck or Nightmare or anything, then that can be really bad for him. But Double Raven being thrown out. March coming in from the backside. On the field, lands on the two. Hook shot in as well. Burrow Strike is going to get some disengage away from the Razor, but Chappie is caught in the middle of the cogs and will be dropped. Only one, though. That's not exactly what Geek Fam were really hoping for. They were definitely hoping for a little more. Oh, maybe they will get a little more. One raise misses, but that's okay because the second one is not going to be cast. Fly Solo is pretty screwed anyway. Like, this dude is dead. Another double kill for the Shadow Fiend, getting them two kills, that's a little bit better. When you get a complete and utter surround like that, like here, some of those wolves though, just to kind of spread them out, just get a little bit of uh, map vision. Not exactly sure if that fourth point barrel impulse is better than that uh, wolf summon for the, for the ability of summoning two wards that move. They will take down Phosphorus, who will be here, will give them vision on our Mel. Bale is going to jump in, push Tron with a Shadow Blade. We're going to toss up first strike there as well, focusing on the SF, and he will go down. Before he gets Requiem up, but Mello will be the even trade here as March gets the full link, and will also catch Phosphorus in the trees, getting him a double. The backup was a little bit lagging. Bane and Viper, not exactly super mobile, even though Viper doesn't force the game for, for uh, being completely and utterly out of beta. Fly solo. With the hook shot, Battery Salt is maxed out at this point. Fly Solo trying to brain sap. Eat his brain. There he goes. It's delicious, I hear. And that means that Playhard cannot get the kill. You've got to spam that brain sap button. Just keep jamming it and hope it works because you have no other options, man. And then just sitting on it. You want to be kind of going as fast as possible. Play the game as quickly as you can. Take down the towers. Keep rotating. Keep applying pressure to the enemies. Because right now, they are more powerful, Geek Fam. If they have the status one, they're definitely more powerful. They're gonna smoke up, move Chappy. He's gonna teleport in. He is spotted, but he's really far back behind enemy lines. Playhard can maybe go in there. They can't even catch vision of him to glimpse him back. Playhard Flare gonna go out. Fly Solo Smoke gonna break. Playhard is immediately gonna get Burrow Struck and Brain Saps. Caught in his own cogs, is gonna bust himself out to the left. But the four staff is here from Armel, and they will be able to kill off the clockwork. Can they catch anyone else? No, everyone else is already gone. Conservative to play here from Fire. We will just keep pushing. Oh no, Velo, he's gonna toss the clockwork out of the cogs, gets linked up though, taking the tiny for a walk, and Velo's backup is nowhere to be found. The tiny goes in and just dies. Thought teleporting into that shrine was safe, he was very wrong. Top right now, Hookshot is gonna cancel his TP. Glimpse as well, not exactly ideal, but he is still very screwed. There are way too many heroes here for Armel. Duck into the trees, try and hide, not gonna happen. That. Oh, Fly Solo, what the hell are you doing back here, buddy? Uh, he's pretty screwed. Uh, he's just gonna be abandoned by everyone else. I don't know if we can call this space creation, because, well, he's not creating that much space, but he's definitely dead. Immediately, the circle is drawn here for Phosphorus. Guys, we can't hold them with Indians. This always happens. Oh, they will jack up. Keep Bam, Ollie is gonna be dropped. Skem is in the middle of a lot of heroes, trying to focus down to the Sand King. We'll pick him off. And he's gonna be just fine to walk out of here as the hookshot comes in, catches two, with Mark on the outskirts, just right clicking in the cogs though. Gonna start cutting against Geek Fam now. They will try to disengage. Armel forced after the high ground. Chappy is going to not have his bear, is going to have a resummon. Savage War pushing back March. Fly solo again. Left behind by his allies. We'll try to TP out. Actually gets a lot closer than I thought. But still gonna draw. In a three for two exchange, once again, Geek Fam come out ahead. These clutch gamers side to say, we're gonna hope we can stall out the game. If we can't, well, we're just gonna lose. It might be happening pretty quick. Fly solo, we go all the way back down to the bottom lane. They're just slowly but surely pushing into this tower. 
Army from the Lycan is pretty substantial right now with level 3 book. But our male also has a double damage rune, so gotta wait that one out. They'll push back in. Tower gonna be chipped out here. Bane is almost nearby. That's a tier 3 tower down already. That's a pretty big win here for Geek Fam. Chappie gonna push in, but really the Sanking that has to start the fight, and that is not how you start a fight. Immediately gonna miss the Burrow Strike. BKB's go up, and March gonna push the high ground. Hookshot in is gonna cut through a few. Once again, catching two. The same two as before, actually. March just chopping them down from the outskirts. That's gonna be an easy two kill with the bear dropped as well. March pushing forward even further. Maybe a little too far. Gets gripped. Immediately cancelled by the glimpse, but March, he does not have much backup. He's still just been walked out of here. No way. No way, March. He's gonna go down to the poison attack with the racks about to be dropped. As Shrunk gonna let loose the Requiem, the Radiance Burn starting to add up right now. We'll take down the H on the SF and Oli will be able to put up the field. Maybe get itself to but they will not be able to save their Shadow Fiend right now. Is broken in the middle of everybody and will be dropped. It's a triple kill for Armel here. I don't believe any buybacks were actually expended there in the defense for Clutch Gamers, but was that actually worth it? I'm not entirely... And oh, at the center on the two. Stagstorm does go up. The clockwork though immediately going down. Sanking not looking too hot either though. He's gonna fall shortly after his Oli's gonna be right clicked down by Armel. March now. BKB in the front lines. The bear though is gonna start pushing him back. The front line barriers are not there. Viper Strike does go through BKB. They'll land onto March, slowing him down just a touch. Not quite enough for the bear to get close enough for entangle rolls though, so they have to back up. Still a two for one exchange. Very, very nice here for the dire something. That makes literally no sense. He's gonna get gripped up. The backup is right around the corner, so play hard. He can maybe hook shot out. Mm, probably not gonna happen at this point. He's probably dead. What the heck? They will take down a shrine in the meantime, but need to receive the radiant side, and they will see them. Chappie's gonna resummon the bear. Gets hook shot first thing though. Gets shoved out, and the status storm is gonna do nothing. Same thing for the requiem. They're still trying to focus down on the Chappie. Gets glimpsed back a little bit further back, and they may be able to drop the lone group, but they're taking a lot of damage elsewhere. It's actually Bale taking the most damage. As March gonna push them all back. Stole 200 damage. Catches our metal in the trees. Will be able to TP out of here. But even though that formation was really good for Clutch. Eat them were crashing in way too hard with way too many units, including a Magic Mutant Razor. Unfortunately for the Razor, the damage is lost for the Aiden's Roach, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to matter all too much. They'll go right in, start cleaning him up, and should be a very easy game here. Chappie is very bulky, you can see it, but he's still kind of at that kind of awkward phase where he doesn't really have the full power of his gold because so much of it is tied up in farming items. Double Midas Radiance. That's going to be Aegis for the Shafts. This is very aggressive. They don't really have to be doing this. You can see bottom lane is pushing in. The flares spam down here. Is that the... What level is the flare talent? Yeah, it's not not quite not quite there yet. That flare damage talent, man. So good for counter pushing the battle. This could be the last battle. They're going to double raise the Viper. Bro strike in for Phosphorus. Not going to do much. In fact, not anything. Sandstorm now down. Pipe goes up. All the creeps though getting smashed by that tree branch AoE. They will be able to Viper Strike March, but he is fast enough even without that extra moon speed to just walk out of there. So Viper Strike, low cooldown, but oh one, two, raises onto the Viper, force the BKB just for safety. They do toss back March, but he gets the BKB off. Also has the cheese. The grip is gonna be canceled now. Grip downs the cheese and Tiny's gonna fall. Chappy, he does not have enough power right now just by himself. The bear is gonna get the root off. Savage Roar onto a couple, but not much damage done here to the Geek Fam side. Phosphorus looking for a Burrow Strike. Can't quite get in. He oh, is going to have to back off right now. Really has to be careful against these glimpses. Oh, another Ethereal Blade combo to raise onto the bear. It was just resummoned, I believe, so Chappie doesn't have anything. Suddenly, he only has Hand of Midas and a Point Booster, and Bale is also launched. Well, Epicenter comes in. Lands on a three hero. Does quite a bit of damage, but maybe not quite enough. There's just not enough damage here. If Chappie had his bear, perhaps it will work out. In fact, it probably will, but... That epicenter came in a little bit too late, and up against the barrier now from the pipe of in the pipe of insight plus that insight aura, just not going to do enough. This is going to be game almost for sure. 70 seconds, tiny fought back earlier, and just didn't do much with it. March seemingly invulnerable on the front lines, and this is going to be Geek Fam taking it game one here in this best of three. Again, I was not really completely on board with this like in last pick. The lanes did work out in such a way, though, where they were able to kind of get away with all of their laners. Oak shot in with the glimpse back. Armel is going to ditch the Viper Strike, but he will go down. Fly Solo will go down, and GG is actually called for real Z's now. Geek fam, I am impressed with how they're able to take these fights. Again, it's all about that positioning, all about making sure that you 
take the fight in the more open field when the enemies are kind of more narrowly positioned 